Hello everybody, so today I am in my kitchen and I decided that I was going to film some shortbread. I was going to film mince pies, but at this time of the year you can't really get hold of mince meat very easily. So I decided to make some shortbread. I'm not sure whether it's going to be like um, shapes or anything, but I'm just going to take you with me. So yeah, let's keep watching. Okay, so now we're going to be using some butter and I'm going to be using 125 grams and it's best to use 100% butter, not margarine because the texture of it will be kind of a lot more, I don't know, creamy and buttery. I don't know, it just tastes better. So let's use this. You fatty. Don't worry, I've washed my hands. Just saying. That'll do. We're now going to cut it up into chunks and place it in the bowl. So this is the butter all chopped up. You need to make sure you put it into squares, otherwise there is no way on this earth that you will be able to mix it together. We're gonna be using, oh, a bit loud. We're gonna be using 55 grams of caster sugar now. Um, so that's all I really need to say, so that's all I have out. Too much, kids. We're now beating together the butter and the sugar, um, which is the next step. So that's why you need to make sure that your butter's not too hard because this step will be quite difficult. And mine is a tiny bit too hard, but we'll get there eventually. Okay, we're now gonna need 180 grams of plain flour. So I'm just gonna weigh that out in there and then we're gonna just shove it straight into here. We're now going to tip this in here and we're going to stir it till it's a smooth paste. Okay, so because it's a little bit difficult to stir it in, you've got to use your hands and basically you need to kind of rub it together like this, like into like little breadcrumby kind of things. Just go like that, just so that, because otherwise the butter just clumps together and you want it to be mixed in with the flour. And I know it seems a bit weird to just kind of rub it in together, but honestly, that's how you get it, you know, to come into a dough. Because obviously we want to roll it out. So that's what you gotta do. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm kind of trying to clump it together like this to get it into a dough. It seems so unnatural to get um, kind of um, pieces of like crumbs almost to come into a dough, but trust me, it will do it eventually. And if it doesn't do it, then just add a little bit of water in from the tap, which I might end up having to do, but you know, I think I'll be okay. So yeah, you just kind of clump everything together in the bowl, get it into a dough-like form. Okay, I'm just gonna flour the work surface because obviously you don't want it to stick. So you want kind of a fair amount of flour. Um, so yeah, now that I'm gonna do that and I'm just gonna put my dough on here with all the little bits as well, because I want to try and get it in. So we're just gonna kind of work it on the surface now so it's so much easier so this is the cutter i've decided to go for i'm going to roll this out and then cut them out using this gingerbread man cutter even though it's a shortbread So I'm just getting out a baking tray. I'm probably gonna need a couple, so I'm gonna get two out. And I'm looking for a silicone sheet, but my mum might phone them out. And I think she has, so we're gonna have to use a normal baking sheet. So this is in here. I'm gonna grab it and it's this one here. So I'm gonna line it in now. Just like as much of it is. We're all about precision. We're all about precision in my house. Lol. Joke. One tray done. Next tray. They're going in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. I'm going to go for more of the 15 minute line. Pop them in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius. And let's go. Mum's already got a cack in there. So uh, let's see what happens with this. So let's put you there. I just got them out of the oven and this is what they look like. I'm now going to leave them for a little while to cool down 
um, and like harden, and then I'm going to decorate them. No. Here they are. They've had a chance to call. Mum sent us in the uh, mum sent us in the dining room where the lighting is nowhere near as good. Oh, I quite like this though. That's nice. Um, but yeah, so we're going to decorate it. We're going to just do like faces, aren't we? Yeah. We had a fatality. Yeah, his leg's broken. It's completely gone. Let's off. try it. Taste test. Yeah. <laughs> that is good. It tastes sweet, flaky. So this is the end of my video. I've made these cute little shortbread ginger men and literally like I love shortbread and it's so easy to make, doesn't require, it only requires three ingredients. Um, sorry, I nearly went then. Um, and look how cute. Some of them look a bit creepy, not gonna lie, but they're food. So give the video a thumbs up, subscribe down below and I'll be doing some more food related videos in January, more like healthy eating food rather than this kind of food. But yeah, see you then.